Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to see the concept on radiation mechanism in dipole. So before going to this concept, I'll just give a quick review how this dipole was actually designed. So initially we were having like a simple conducting wires like this. If you take two parallel conductors and we have this type of arrangement, these two conductors are straight and arranged parallelly and we give some source on this end, allow the current to flow across this. What happens, just imagine, here the current flows in this direction, we have load at that uh, other end and here the current flows in this direction. So, as a net, the total current always uh, gets cancelled with each other. So, we cannot uh, be able to generate any radiation outward. So, actually this concept is used in uh, uh, transmission lines and next followed by this we have one more structure very popular structure that is coaxial cables and everyone is aware of this I think that is we popularly call coaxial cable conductors also which have a structure like this right so in this we have this two conductors inner inner conductor as well as outer I am just showing for reference only this part we call it as ground and this inner one we call it as a core or inner conductor anyway we can call actually the current flows inside this inner conductor so in this case what happens inside this conductor the current will be flowing in this direction and here in the ground here in this path the current again flows in opposite direction there also if you go for the concept of char always there also the net or outward radiation is cancelled so in these two type of structures we are not able to get radiation outside of the structures so from these two structures we will not be able to bring out the antenna concept so by modifying these two structures a concept came like this a small changeover that is uh, one uh, conductor like this another conductor like this they are just tapered or opened out in this way so why they have went for this concept is here the current flows in this direction here the current flows in this direction if you don't have this part it is simply transmission line if I added this part you just imagine it will be in this direction here it is in this direction but here the concept is the spacing or separation between these two part of conductor is increased because of this actually what happens the interference of these two lines gets reduced and there is no complete cancellation of the field so the net field can be generated and uh, some amount of radiation comes out but the scientists were not actually satisfied with this structure also completely and then Again, they got a, a complete final antenna model. That is, we can get from this diagram. Just look carefully. Here, the same diagram I have modified like this. See here, the same structure. Here, we can have uh, some AC source at this end. Now, we will see how the current flows in this structure. So, here the current starts. It takes this path, this path and finally here. And here also you can watch the, the same diagram just we have modified with additional two lines like this. Here we will be applying the source. And now if you see here but for looking like this the currents are in opposite direction. But finally if you look along this direction the current is taking only single direction. This is the concept of antenna. Because of the current flowing in the same direction, what happens is the field is created and automatically that field is able to produce the radiation concept. This is final concept of your dipole antenna. Actually this dipole base is this one. The remodified of the structure has bring us to the, that's the dipole. Now in our class we are going to see the radiation mechanism of this dipole right now we will enter into the topic see in this diagram I have shown you three levels in the first one at a time period 
t by 4th say some total time period is t just a t by 4th time period what happens is uh, we will take just example of 3 positive charges and 3 negative charges are the same <coughs> so here what happens is actually we know opposite poles get subtracted and these 3 charges start their journey towards this ne 3 negative charges like this I am showing the field lines that are extended from here to here. So, they took certain time period of lambda by 4 distance with a time period of t by 4. So, this has happened in the first step. So, in this step, just we can observe as the opposite charges get attracted, this positive move towards this negative. All the three positives moving towards negative. In the same way, what happens? Their field lines are formed like this. But in this step, what has happened is there is some attractive force to bind these lines with the antenna. Next, we will move to the second one. That is, uh, still we have traveled some more amount of time. That is one more lambda by 4 distance we have traveled. Now, what happens? We will see in the next step. Observe carefully. So, in the next step, these three field lines have formed like this and meanwhile one more three field lines started their journey like this see this is one lambda by four distance this is another lambda by four distance so at one more uh, one by fourth of interval of time what happened we will see the first three lines you have watched right so in the next step what happened to these three lines these three positive charges move towards these three negative so they all are getting far away from the dipole antenna so here meanwhile in the same time exactly the three positives are displaced means what happens three negatives will replace in that place so automatically these three negative charges start their movements towards the positive charges that's why i have changed the direction of the field lines i'm saying three lines three lines means it means just for our understanding we are taking three lines it doesn't mean that ant has only that much field it will have some n number of field lines but that we cannot show in the picture so we for example we have taken three only so these three lines are trying to detach from the antenna the simple reason is as the charges get neutralized there is no binding force to hold the uh, field lines so they start to move away from the antenna exactly in the next second what happens means these three field lines get completely detached from the antenna like this so they get completely out of the antenna so they will form closed loops like this how means these three lines moving towards downward these three lines moving towards upwards so opposite directions these form the closed loops like this so in the free space three positives three negatives combine the closed loops and there is no holding charge for this antenna so automatically they get detached from the antenna this happens after t by 2 seconds so finally in just three steps what happens is the radiation mechanism from a dipole comes out so for our simple understanding actually opposite charges gets attracted this is a fundamental point we know so from that concept this dipole mechanism was designed thanks for watching this video